So you're going to be asked to do some interesting questions dealing with logs. And some of the log questions are going to be based on physical quantities that have a large range of values. Case in point, Richter scale, when we're talking about the amount or the intensity of an earthquake, sound decibels, the greater the sound, go out to, let's say, listen to a stereo and then go stand in front of a jet. Well, don't. But you know what I mean. You're going to see a definite increase in sound there. And our favorite, which is a pH scale for acid base concentration in chemistry, which you know starts dealing with things like 10 to the minus 14 and so on and so forth. So it, it, they're very, very wide range of values. So you're going to use a logarithmic scale to do it. Okay, let's look at an example. Enough jibber jabber. Let's get to the point. Here's a nice little earthquake that says you have a magnitude of 5 and another one that had a magnitude of 7, and you want to do some comparisons here. Well, the neat thing here is that in 1935, a guy by the name of Charles Richter developed something called the Richter scale right here for measuring the intensity of the earthquakes. And it looks very, very much like this. And yeah, you can pretty much figure out what each one of these stand for. Yeah, M stands for the magnitude of the quake. All right, I stands for what is the intensity of the quake, and S is what we call the standard intensity. And what Richter turned around and knew that you could not make anything a zero here, because think about it, I over zero at doesn't work, non-permissible value, remember? And then, of course, if you do get a zero, a log of a zero, again, eh, doesn't work, because you know that all logs are greater than zero. Okay, well, wait a second. So what does standard intensity mean? He said the standard intensity of an earthquake, he's going to give it a value of 1. Very, 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 very low. So what do you mean? You're actually standing on the earth right now, and you are experiencing an earthquake. Dun, da, da, da. Don't get scared. The earthquake is so slight that you don't feel it. And that's what he says. Let's go from absolutely the slightest possible movement all the way to some huge intensity, and let's figure out the magnitude of that quake. Okay, Compared to almost no movement, to something, let's say, like a big, massive earthquake that you know really devastates uh, a, a town or a city somewhere. Okay, well, whew, enough of an explanation. Let's get to the question. The question basically says here, it says you've got a magnitude of 5 and another magnitude of 7, and it says right here to calculate what is the intensity of each earthquake in terms of the standard. Okay. Let's figure that out. So we want to be able to say S equals to something, or I equals to something times the standard. That's what you're after. And that's the something that'll tell you, and then we'll be able to compare the, the magnitude 5 to the magnitude 7 and see how much more powerful it is. Okay, let's start with the magnitude 7 one. Why not? So if the magnitude is 7, we know that 7 equals to the log of I over S. And remember, what you're after is this. That's what you're trying to find. You're trying to find this amount right here. Well, probably the easiest thing that you can do here is remember that this is log base 10. So that means you can take 10 to the power of 7. 10 to the power of 7 equals to I over S. And check it out. This is so easy from this point on. Why? Because you're trying to find this guy, right? Something times S. And there's good old faithful cross multiply. Look at that. Boom, boom. So S times 10 to the 7 equals to our intensity, right? So if you look at that, you got 10 to the 7 of intensity of magnitude. Wow, that's pretty powerful earthquake. Okay, so now let's go on and let's figure out the 10 to the 5 one. The 10 to the 5 one, now that we know how to do this, this is really, really easy. This is magnitude of 5, okay? So our intensity equals some sort of question times S. That's what we're after, okay? So magnitude of 5 equals the log base 10 of I over S. All right, you know that this is base 10, so we can go 10 to the power 
of 5 equals I over S. We can cross multiply this puppy right there, ba ba ba, leaving you I equals to 10 to the 5 times S. Now look at this. So the magnitude 5 earthquake was here. The magnitude 7 earthquake was here compared to the standard. Okay? Now, look back at the question. The question says right here, how many more times as intense are the two earthquakes? Well, this becomes really, really easy to figure out because you have one that's 10 to the 7. You have one that's 10 to the 5. Well, okay, simple because why? Exponent laws, the bases are the same. All you have to do is subtract. 10 to the 7 minus 5 equals 10 to the 2, which means that this earthquake is, in fact, 100 times stronger. So a magnitude 5 earthquake compared to a magnitude 7, well, guess what? The magnitude 7 earthquake is 100 times stronger. And that's how you figure these guys out. out.